Well guys, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. We are at a place that is a museum. We are still driving out of Kigali. We've been driving for about three hours, three and a half hours now. And we have made our way to a museum. So, I will show you around. I am not very sure yet of what they have here, but I will show you around. We will go in there and I will show you what is out here. Folks that know this place. So, we're gonna make my way up there. Like I said, this seems to be like some uh, cultural touristing ground it's beautiful it's beautiful i like the uh the garden here the entrance is very very clean uh the garden looks very beautiful well laid out and this is very very far from the city of shigali um and it's well kept it's well kept it's really beautiful i'm sure we're gonna go in there and uh i will show you what this is about if you have been out here let us know what you know about this place but let me show you what is written on there mura gaza ninza most welcome i believe that so um the Rwanda Cultural Heritage Academy Ethnographic Museum. That's it. We're gonna make our way in there. So this place is the Rwanda Heritage Museum and the word Mura Ganzaniza means most welcome. I love the entrance. The entrance is really beautiful. It's nice. And the garden out here it is it's well laid out, like I said earlier. So I guess yeah. here we go. Okay. So I can only film outside but not inside. Uh, I can only show you outside. So unfortunately I cannot fame anything inside I can only do it outside but I will show you the beautiful outside view of this place and I'm gonna go in there and basically just view what is in there then I'll come out uh, but we are not allowed to do anything in there which is understandable respected enough but this is the view outside if you are making your way out here this is, like I said, very far away from uh, Igali. This is the South uh, Province. We, in, we are in the South Province. So if you are traveling in Rwanda and you are somewhere in the South Province, this is like far beyond Muhanga. Uh, you continue to go south and then you're going to see this place, the Rwanda Heritage uh, cultural heritage museum so we're gonna go in there and see what's there all right so this is inside the museum okay. special and she reckless Mbe, you're my bestest friend yeah she my bestie my love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you doing alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top of yeah, oh yeah Like how you do it alright Everything good alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top alright, oh yeah I wanna know it tonight Surprise you, wake you up in the morning I wanna be the one that you call in Cause I see you, in a future with me I wanna meet you, love best friend and be family I'm 
thunderstorm In your dream making wet dreams come true She know she bad, better than bad She a gunshot that blew my mind No distance I come by my side Everything is green over here oh, yeah. Everything you want and think about Now I got your back all the way And everything is alright I like how you doing alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top of you
how you guys doing? How you guys doing? Hopefully everybody doing well. So we are at the Rwanda Cultural Heritage Museum and we are here looking at the beautiful history of Rwanda Cultural Heritage Academy Ethnographic Museum. Basically they showed you pretty much the history of Rwanda through photographs photographs and artifacts uh, art from Asian days of Rwanda uh, including the home of kings how they used to dress um, the material they used for farming and a lot of different things it was truly mind-blowing inspirational and then the, the museum ended up with showing the uh, leaders of the country from past presidents to the current president his excellency the president paul kagami so you get to see when they came to power the past president when they left power and how they died and uh, i mean what killed them and all that but uh yeah it's a beautiful place uh, overall i'll say uh, it was a good experience and it's very affordable as well obviously for non-citizens visitors uh, you get to pay a little bit more uh, and for citizens uh, they pay a little less obviously so it was beautiful uh, just seeing learning about Rwanda through artifacts right through uh, pictures that define what Rwanda stands for where Rwanda has come from and where Rwanda is now as a country one thing I can take away for sure is that Africa uh, it's pretty much the same in terms of our tradition, our culture, uh, and our belief system. Uh, you don't see much difference. The people of Rwanda, how they started, you know, as farmers, hunters, food gatherers, uh, how they worship their kings, their queens, uh, their gods, and you know, their social beliefs and their uh, uh, traditional history is pretty familiar, right? I mean, similar. It's very similar to uh, a lot of African countries uh, that I've been to, especially my country of Liberia. We practice pretty similar things. So I wasn't really surprised, but it was just beautiful to see how they have been able to keep all of this information from many years ago, preserve them in a place where people can come and learn about this thing. It's amazing. And I think a lot of African countries like you know my country liberia should follow suit preserve those things find those things find the people that can tell the story and show exactly what it used to look like many years ago and that children and children generations to come Come and see those things, learn about their country through the eyes, through the paintings, through pictures, through artworks. And it wasn't much explanation done in there when I went there. What I saw in there were just art pictures with just brief explanation. Brief explanation. And that's what it takes. Sometimes that's all it takes. Just something that people can go and see 
view by and then uh, just a little explanation to tell what the images are you know are about that's all people need sometimes education is, is very important especially learning about your past is very important there is a common saying that if you do not know where you come from you will never know where you're going and that is very true you don't want to have generations that are lost you do not want to have generation generations with the s that are lost that do not know anything about their country let it not be told by outsiders let them be told by insiders so for countries that are not doing these things having cultural heritage museum or cultural heritage academy they need to start taking these things serious invest in it it's also another way to make money when I was going through the list of guests that came here today to see this place I saw people from the US from the Netherlands from Belgium from France from the UK Nigeria uh, other other countries and I was like if people can come from everywhere to come here and just view this thing just see this thing pay a little bit money I believe it was like six dollars for me and folks that are from here I believe they pay a little over a dollar and just imagine the number of people coming in and out here paying that amount that's another way to make money that's a very rich way to make money to bring income to the country and putting it back into the people so it's been amazing unfortunately uh, and with all good reasons I could not take camera in some of the areas camera is not allowed in some parts of the building uh, obviously they want you to come and see it yourself <laughs> they want you to come and visit this place yourself if we put everything on camera you may not come but just by seeing this video and hearing from me hopefully you can make the time to visit Rwanda and whenever you come to Rwanda make sure that you come to the south province the south province and this place is called the Rwanda Cultural Heritage Academy Rwanda Cultural Heritage Academy is part of the Rwanda National Museum and is a beautiful place to come and see I love road trips I have been in Kigali for two days and I'm done with Kigali obviously there are several videos that you're gonna see from me from around Kigali but I've only been in Kigali for two days so for the rest of my almost two weeks in this country I am going to be spending it outside of Kigali I'll be visiting different provinces I will try to go across borders to uh, Burundi to uh, we're going to make a trip to Uganda uh, but I am going to spend most of my time here now the remaining of my time here now just going outside of the city you know learning about the people the real Rwanda story a story that is not just in the city of Kigali and I will tell you I've been surprised this entire country first of all is clean the entire country is clean as you go through villages you see people making time cleaning up sweeping the streets 
the entire country is playing and the roads are paved connecting the entire country not a big country but the government has put in a lot of work to ensure that the citizens have the most important needs road connectivity stable electricity and uh, 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 running water the health care is good the government put a lot of money into the health care where um, they have insurance system where the government pay most of the cost for their citizens the schooling systems there are free primary schools and when you go to college when you are a citizen of Rwanda and you have good grades from your primary school I'm told that it is free when you have good grades and if you have been affected or if you were affected by the tragic parts of the country the genocide something that is not talked about in this country anymore but if you were affected by that for instance your parents were killed during that tragic moment in the country's history you go to school free as well so the government is doing a lot of different things to ensure that the citizens of Rwanda benefit from their country. That the citizens of Rwanda are giving quality life. And I'm not saying everything is okay. I mean some people are struggling. The pay system is, the, pay, the, uh, the, the salaries are very low. I'm hearing police officers are making about 50 to 60 US dollars. But, with all of that, the systems are working, the country is corruption free. When a police pull you over in this place, you cannot bribe them. Something that I'm very, very impressed about, because I'm from Liberia, unfortunately, my country is not there yet. Liberia is not in a place where police will respect their job enough to avoid taking bribe from citizens. But the government is not doing enough to ensure that the systems, the laws in place work. But here, when you are pulled over by the police, you know, for speeding or for doing the wrong thing, you cannot bribe your way out. You cannot bribe your way out. Even though they are making far less than most police in other parts of Africa, like in my country of Liberia, where police are making about 150 to 190 U.S. dollars. The systems here work to the extent that you cannot bribe your way out. So I'm going to end it here. This has been an amazing visit here at the Rwanda Cultural Heritage Academy. And I hope you enjoyed this video clip. There will be more coming out of Rwanda. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.